Hi guys, I'm Martina. Excuse the glare coming from my glasses no matter where I sit or look. Um, I live in Boston. Um, if you read my intro page, you'll know that. Um, so basically, the reason I started getting into this whole crazy music business is, uh, I guess I'll start from the beginning. I My first show I ever went to was an amphitheater show, and it was the Jonas Brothers. And that show, I already knew that I loved music, but after that show, I didn't really feel anything different, didn't really uh, get all jazzed up. And then the following February, I went to see um, We the Kings, The Main, The Cab, There for Tomorrow, and Versa Merge at the Chance Theater, which is in Poughkeepsie, um, up by where my hometown in New York. And I came home from that show, and I remember just sobbing myself to sleep because I couldn't imagine ever doing anything else with the rest of my life. And after that show, I kind of, you know, off the bat, you know, went, did Bamboozle, did Warped Tour, started just going to every show I could. Um, first, just in the state, like in New York, not even in the city, but just in Poughkeepsie, um, Kingston, wherever I could. And then eventually started going to shows in the city, started getting my parents to drive me to Jersey, to Connecticut. Um, and then, you know, once I uh, could drive, I would drive myself everywhere. Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Jersey, upstate New York, like anywhere that I could, I would get myself to those shows because I've never felt so at home as I do when, I, uh, when I'm when i at a show. And I think that's the most important thing when it comes to finding what you want to do for the rest of your life. And so once I found it, basically I'm refusing to let it go. And so from there on, you know, I started looking into, you know, how do I get into it? Because I didn't want to be a performer. I wasn't even though, you know, I sang and I've played instruments before, I'm not interested in that aspect of it. So I started looking into, you know, what are the other jobs that go into putting a live show together and, you know, thinking about, you know, production, like doing sound. I kind of, I'm kind of getting into that now, but um, just the idea of managing, so just being a part of putting that together, any part, it really it doesn't, it didn't matter at the time which part it was, but I just felt like I needed to be a part of that and give people the same feeling that I got when I go to shows. And so, you know, looking into schools, the, um, when I was in high school, the entertainment, um, or the management of like music industry and stuff, that major in schools has, was just starting. So, you know, I started looking very early on. I was a sophomore in high school when I told my counselor that I knew what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And she kind of was like, okay, yeah, sure, like we can look into that. And then the following year, I told her the same thing. She's like, okay, yeah, like we'll look into that, but make sure you have a backup plan. And then, you know, I started applying to, I applied to two schools. I applied to one in New York City that had a music industry program. And then I applied to the one I'm at in Boston right now, Bay State College. And I'm actually in my dorm room right now. It's pretty, can't really, it's pretty blare, bland. Um, and I, you know, I'd been in New York City a bunch of times. I live in New York and stuff. And I always thought I wanted to be there. And then I went and visited the school and didn't really, I didn't really want to do it. It was like two years of preliminary courses before I even would get into, you know, any industry courses. And that just wasn't what I wanted. I didn't want to go through another year of high school or two. And so then I came here and the first thing that my admissions advisor told me was we just had a bunch of graduates go out on tour. And basically from that moment, I was like, okay, this is a school I need to go to. These are connections I have to make. This is what I need to do. And so here I am in Boston, and I don't think I've ever made a better decision in my entire life. Um, the people I've made, the connections I've made, 
the networking that happens here is amazing. The scene is exactly where I want to be, you know, all pop punk, a lot of underground, a lot of independent stuff. And uh, so that's basically where I am now, a very general description of the last few years and how I got to where I am. Um, but yeah, keep up with the blog. We're going to try to get it as um, big as we can. If you could reblog, retweet, get people knowing about it. We'd love to have like even like guest interviews or like if you are a concert photographer, like send us stuff. We'd love to promote you um, and we would appreciate it so much if you could promote us. We're literally starting this from scratch. Like we don't have any idea what's going to happen, but we just feel like we need a spot for uh, other people like us to kind of get together and talk about what they're doing to get involved. Um, so yeah. Again, I'm Martina. Keep up with the page. Um, and thanks.